When we're thinking about how nervous we are to do a video, we often have ourselves at the center of that discussion, and that's a very inward perspective. Um, it can feel like a cost, it can feel like we might get hurt. It's a very vulnerable place to be um, because it's really focusing on insecurities or maybe some skills that we don't feel we have a lot of strength in yet or we haven't acquired. And if you're starting to learn new skills like video, that's a really challenging place to start from, and it's unlikely you want to you'll want to lean into it and actually create that video um, especially if you're a manager and you're heading up video in your team that's a really challenging place to try and get people's buy-in to try to get people on board with your video strategy if the focus is internal but if you can shift the focus from internal to external i.e. being in service of someone or something, that's when we start to get the light bulb moments. So we are doing videos for our candidates, we're doing videos for our clients to stay connected with our talent pools. Um, it's those light bulb moments where people start to shift and see, oh okay, I can see how video could be a great way to communicate or could spark genuine conversation or could represent my business or my brand or myself in the way um, that I, I want to be represented. Um, um, and it doesn't feel like a cost then because it's not internal. We're thinking about our audience and we're thinking about how we can be in service of them. So that's the best place to start from. Um, so the next time you do do a video, if you are feeling nervous, ask yourself, how can you be in service to your community um, and really have them front of mind? And hopefully that's a much more delightful place to start talking from. Happy videoing.